All right, welcome to a uh, new game, Ranch Simulator. I'll give you a little bit of an update what I have done. When you start in this game, you don't get the vehicle, obviously. The vehicle is uh, sort of in part. It's missing the wheels, the uh, bull bar, or the bumper, the, and the chairs. There's also a couple of really old buildings over there where you have to come and demolish, and there's a bit of rubbish around. And you've got to buy yourself uh, chickens and all that sort of stuff. So uh, we're on day four. Now, don't let that uh, sort of throw you off because day four, for me anyway, maybe some people do progress a lot quicker. It was kind of a way of learning. And this is where I've come and cut some lumber or timber and we're making some planks. Uh, I generally come and do that at night, but what I have to do right now is uh, go hunt a little bit because we do need to make some money and that's at the beginning the main way you make money. So what I've got to look for is uh, bears or deer or something like that that I can get a bit of cash out of and right now we don't seem to uh, it's been like a couple of days since I've seen any type of animals. The only animal that I've had is my uh, my chickens that died. And I shot a deer. So you come in. Okay, milk, eggs, uh, cheese. Okay, we don't have any of those. So it's a bit... You come in here. You press E to... And this is what I get. We'll sell it. Oh, we got $1,200. I didn't even realize that I have that much money. I do need to update my vehicle. Uh, it's a little bit on the on the small side. So we're going to need to do some updates there. And how do we update? We go to the vehicle shop right here. And... Or we can go in here and I have the option of upgrades. What upgrades can I get? That's it. So there's not really any upgrades that I can do to, the, to this particular car. But let's go in here and see what cars I can buy and anything that I can afford to buy. Oops. Get a face full of. So I can buy this car, but I don't have the money yet, I don't believe. Okay, so we've got this, which is $800, 1600 worthless. Okay, this one looks like a little bit of a bigger capacity, $800. Oh, this one's definitely... Okay, this one doesn't have any capacity. $1,000, no capacity, how could that be? Okay, I don't understand. Okay, I don't need any of this yet. And this is what I've got. Okay, so, so far, we don't really have any capacity at all, any vehicle at all that we can get better capacity in. So what we're gonna do, oh, get out of there. We're gonna try and see Generally, there's about three or four deer over here. At least it was on the first day, but there hasn't been any. I haven't found any animals to hunt at all. And as you can, as you've just seen, that is the best way to make a bit of a living. Oh, I'll show you the map while we're here. So we're kind of. You know, we're kind of sitting in this area. Maybe I need to go closer to the hardware and and um, and try and hunt there a little bit more. Now you do need fuel for your vehicle, and you have there is a fuel station which you probably let's go through here, see if we find any uh, any animals that we can hunt. Uh, it is sort of. Uh, you do do farming, as you saw, I can buy a combine, I can buy uh, uh, tractors, planters. It is a little bit of a uh, 
farming simulator means medieval dynasty type of thing. Uh, uh oh. Oh. But the beauty of it is, is that I can flip the car over. Boom. So, not very hard. Oh, oh, oh. Now, this is what the camera does by itself, so I don't get. I can't control the camera. Nothing to hunt here either. Oops. Excuse me, buddy. What happened? I don't understand. Where all the animals go? Nothing. What oh, is there? You are. Okay. So this is where we get the gun. Oh, we got no bullets. Come on, buddy. Oh, what are you doing? I think that was a wolf by the by the looks of it, and generally speaking, where there is a wolf. Oh, there you are, there's a, another one over there. Why are you doing that? Two. Do we see any more? Let's reload. You do have to buy bullets, as you probably can tell that. Okay, let's put you away. So it takes him a little while to... Now, you can't get in your vehicle if you have your gun on, so you've always got to go back to your arm, to your hand, or whatever you want to call it. Let's go with the... You can die in this game. I'm not quite sure. Can you see any other walls? So you get two meats. It's amazing that you don't actually get to skin them and actually keep the skin. I love it, the fact that you can keep, um, you know, skin them while you're holding your esky or your cooler, as they call it in the game, I believe. So your right mouse will allow you to that back where it belongs. Oh, come on. All right, so we found two animals to hunt. Be nice to find a couple more. So you do have to build your your buildings and whatever you going to use for the game, it has to be built. I'll just travel a little bit through here to see if I can find anything else to hunt. Oops. Oh. Hey, I'm using the brake. This is with me trying to go in reverse. There we have a. Okay, stop. Get out. Get the hand. Get the gun. OK, 
Come on, buddy, stop. And let me reload it just in case there's some wolves or something in the area. Nothing. That's it, eh? Well, I suppose we shouldn't be upset. At least we've got something. Got something. For a few days I've tried to hunt. I couldn't find a single... Oh, oh there's a bear. Let's quickly get our gun. I have no idea how many shots it takes. Okay, so it takes four shots. That's a lot. Okay, why aren't you reloading? Apparently, or there is a bear that could be up to five bears. So I don't know if I can skin them. No, you can't. Now, I've not tried it to see what actually happens if you get caught. If you get caught um, in your vehicle while you're doing... Oh, no, no. Kind of, yeah, kind of a bit like, you think that you would get the skin off the bear. The beauty with the bear is that it gives you four meat. Now let's go back. Oh, I can run a bit faster with this. So that's beautiful. How many meat do we have in the 11? Oh. Okay, so it looked like the bear was coming from out here. So let's go. Like, I don't actually know what would happen. Say, if you if I was driving up a hill like this and there was a bear coming, I don't know if the bear could attack you or a wolf for that matter, could attack you while you're in the vehicle. Or not, I wouldn't have a clue. So I can use lights, I don't want to use lights. Now, I know you're probably getting a face full of trees. Now, I'm gonna try and keep it this episode to a little bit shorter type of an episode. Um, so I'll see if I can find any other animals to hunt, and if I can, then I'll I'll uh, I'll bring you back. Then it's not point in you sitting here watching me drive around. So, all right. So, like I said, you can actually do farming. Now, one of the things that you can actually uh, have. Uh, okay, that's not it. This is a, the difference between you as a person and tractor. So one thing that I do like, this is I like, the fact that you know, I play farming simulator, as you probably know, and it feels like there is no difference between you and the machinery at all. So we are here at a farm. I have not been on this part of the map. I don't actually know what is going on over here. So let's have a look on the map. Where am I? Okay, I'm next to the hardware store. There is another tractor in here. Obviously can't go in them. Now I have no idea that you can't go in them because I need to buy them. Or this is just here. Okay, so I'm not quite familiar whether you can buy this or is this meant to be for a future update or what's going on here? Is this something? 
So there's a bit of a farm here. Now this is kind of like my first look and obviously I'm showing it to you if you haven't seen this before. Now so far you don't have to eat, you don't really have to sleep. I'm not sure if it's um, uh, if it's just like that because I haven't uh, they haven't finished the game. This I believe is still in beta mode, so maybe that's why it is like that. But uh, they're planning to make you need to sleep and eat in the future. I'm not quite sure on that. So right now I'm just traveling around looking for animals. I need to shoot. Uh, two more either bears or wolves got a big lake over here can I sell something here or not so let's go have a look what this guy wants normally you can talk to them glad to see you partner okay glad to see you partner what does that mean Okay, it doesn't so obviously it must be just something that it's ready for a future update because you can or maybe you can buy this part of thing in a future update or I don't know. Always in the lookout for see if there is any any animals to hunt. All right, we'll go back and keep driving around. So nice, nice fields. Um, I know that you can buy cedars and all that. So I don't know if you actually want to buy those things. If they actually, you know, come back to you and you can actually utilize them. And what I'll do, uh, where is the gas station? So we'll just go there. Go to the gas station since we are running a bit low on gas. We want to go through the beach. Oh no, we got a bit of a mountain and uh oh there's a bear. Okay, stop. Where can you guys see anybody else? Okay. So we'll just go back to this. I wish there was a way to, uh, you know, get your gun out quicker than having to go through that kind of, uh, you know what I mean? Like press a button type of thing and get your gun instead of, uh, okay, so I can't use that one. Come on. It's a bit finicky, this thing. So I got to get one more animal. One more. Come on, one more bear or something. I mean, the map itself, it's nice. It's a uh, picturesque type of thing. Um, not just a very even basic uh, terrain. The terrain is fairly challenging. So that in itself, you've got like, you know, mountains, hills, uh, flat surfaces, obviously, as you've just seen. Lots and lots of things that you can go and smash into with your whatever vehicle you have. There is no damage to your vehicle, so apparently there should be some bears up here. I say apparently because I have seen a guy, I wish I could remember his name, it's just a very tiny channel. Now I say a tiny channel 
mine's obviously tiny as well but yeah i think he had six, six subscribers and he was basically doing this type of videos that was what he was uh concentrating on 90 well that's it that's all he was on this range simulator so i've learned from him watching the two videos Ah, oh, come on there's got to be something else around here to shoot at we also got to keep an eye on fuel i mean it's not that big of a deal because i do have the fuel canister with me and that's full Do cross country. See if we can come across any other animals to shoot. Be nice to find another bear or or a wolf, wolf or something. exactly what I said the terrain is very very rugged oh no not again oh and there's the fuel station and what I'll do is I'll go this way Okay, so to fill up the vehicle, you pick that up, you put it in, and you press E to refuel your car. And obviously, it costs you a dollar. Looks like a dollar per liter, which is a very good price. I wish we had a dollar per liter price. Uh, pick it up. Come on, put it there. I'm pretty sure that my canister is full. All right, let's hopefully go and find I'm trying to think where should I go and I don't think uh, and that's what happens when you actually bash into the vehicles. You do have lights. But I don't think I want the lights on yet. Downhill, the vehicle does speed up. So it doesn't just sit there because you're driving it. It will act like a real vehicle and actually speed up. So this is... By the time the sun set. Did we lose it? Uh, it looks like it's going over here. I think it would have been just a lot easier for me to just stand still somewhere and wait for him to come to me. There we are. I can really see him really good right now. Okay. Doesn't look like we're going to see him again. Okay, we're going to be losing him big time. So, there's not much point. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just set myself to go back home. And the reason that I have to go back home is one, two, sleep. And two, so I can save, so I can save my game. 
I cannot save the game from anywhere else other than other than on your in your range and oh my goodness it's gonna be fun trying to figure out which oh this is what the game looks like at night very 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 dark so it looks like I'm coming to my range from there you are there's my range and I'll uh, I will show you what's going on and we will call it a, an episode so you have an option to either say so press E and you sleep and then you obviously wake up the next morning and we better turn off the light and we're back we, oh, for a second there was a bear there I'm so used to pressing enter for you know to start up the game let's just make a plan so I'm here I'm trying to think have I been out this way I, I don't remember if I've been hunting out that way yet. All right, so we got ourselves another deer. So that's three meat. The thing that it's a bit always sort of, you're always on the edge. Oh, there we are. Let's get up here and see if we can see this other deer. Oh, there's a couple here. Oh, I only needed one bullet for that one. I don't want to shoot it that far away. Then I'm going to have to go and get the meat off it. All right, buddy, where'd you go? You know what? We'll go and get the, the our car back here. And we'll come and get the meat from this guy and then from the guy up there. So I wish there was a button you just press like one and then put the gun away and then one get the gun back instead of having to do this all the time oh hang on I shot him over there it's gonna say where are you Let's skin him alive. Okay, and this S is full. All right, we'll go and get the other one, which was up here next to the mountain. So I may have to save the game and hopefully find a bear or a wolf and see what happens. Where are you over there? See what happens, can the bear and the wolves and all that attack you? Oh. I honestly didn't think that I could climb up here with a car. Okay, so. Okay, where are you guys going? Yeah, that's what I wanted to chase me down a mountain. I mean, you know, this I'm saying is fairly realistic in the sense that in real life is exactly what would happen. But very finicky too. How many? What do we got? Nine meat. I need to find another bear or something. Anyway, I will um, end this episode here. I think it's been long enough and you can see what I'm doing. Let me know what you think of this game. Is it something that you think I should be doing more of? Or it's not something that you really like at all? Oh, got him in the fly. Come on, buddy. Stop some. It's funny because sometimes 
you don't even doesn't even look like you're getting anywhere near the animal and you're shooting it and other times why aren't you lighting yeah let me know what you think do you want me to play more of these type of games like dedicate a day to these type of games or just stick to farming simulator again i'm pressing enter all right have a wonderful day wherever you are around the world god bless you and your family and i will see you in the next episode bye bye